Good evening and once again welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video I want to explain example 2 of number 6. Uh, we have um, the emergency services are planning to pump out a flooded area. The number of pumps needed uh, N is inversely proportional to the time taken in days. It will take six days using two pumps. Let us have these details here. The number of days and the number of pumps. We have two pumps taking six days. In the um, Along the PowerPoint slide, you have understood how we can express the inverse proportionality. And we are being told that the emergency service are planning to pump a flooded area. The number of pumps needed N is inversely proportional to the time taken in days. N is inversely proportional to the number of days. Any time you hear the word inversely proportional, then we have one over, or the, 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 the reciprocal, there is a fraction involved. Now, to bring in the constants of proportionality, we have n is equals to k over d. And we now have to use these details to get our value of k. And it goes without saying that the number of days is 6, which is equals to k over... Uh, no, the number of pump is, 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 is 2, pump 2, that is N2. Um, let me take that again. The number of, of pump is actually in terms of N. Um, 2 is equals to K all over the number of days, which is 6. And this is naturally 2 over 1. And you can clearly see that k is equals to 2 times 6, which is a 12. And that is the constant of proportionality. And therefore, the relationship between n, the number of pumps, and the days is now clear to be n is equals to 12 over d. And this is now the relationship uh, between the number of pumps and the days taken to empty the water. Now, we have two questions to answer. How long uh, will it take using four pumps? Now, we have four pumps. We don't have the number of days. You can already see that we need now to substitute everything in this equation. We have four pumps. The number of pumps is four. So N is four. This is part A of the question. 4 is equals to 12 over the number of days, which is what we need to calculate. And as you can see, these are two equal fractions, and therefore we are allowed to cross multiply, and we are having 4 times d, which is 4d, is equals to 12 times 1, which is 12. Dividing both sides by 4, by 4, we realize that uh, the number of days is 3. What does this mean? That answers part A of the question. How many or how long will it take for pumps? How long will it take for pumps? Four pumps will simply take three days. That is part A. Part B, how many pumps are needed to do the job in two days? Now, we have two days what we need is the number of the pumps, which is N. And in this case, N, we don't know, is equals to 12 all over, all over 2. And as you can see, 12 divided by 2, N is simply 6 pumps. That means, for us to do the job in two days, we need six pounds, and that is just like it. <laughs> 